Today we're going to address an issue that has been popping up quite a bit lately with the newer versions of revenue management and that is their the rejection for the diagnosis codes. So if we go ahead and check our claims like we normally would, which it doesn't want to let me do right now. There we go. Go ahead and check our gateway claims. We notice we get the red flag. If we go ahead and expand that, go to the edits, we see that it's airing out for the diagnosis code. Now, I'm no biller. This 333 may actually not be valid. I just threw it on there because I knew it would air out. Um, but a lot of the offices have been noticing that the three-digit diagnosis codes, which are valid, are getting aired out. In order to resolve this, we just want to go ahead and turn off those diagnosis code checks if we do know that that is a valid code. So you'd go to configure, insurance, and then assign edits. Go ahead and open that up. And here we'll have all of our insurances. You'll notice mine's a pretty small base. This is just my practice, to, or my practice practice, as I like to call it. You're going to go ahead and want to click up here and watch this go dark blue and then hold down the control key and the, num the letter A and it'll select all of them for you. Normally when this is set up, it is set up like so. Some of them do slip past, but we want to just have the Medicare edits and the common edits. Those are the most crucial ones. So we would normally turn off the diagnosis, CPT, global periods, and the CCI edits. Like I said, this is the standard setup. Uh, the common edits and the Medicare edits are going to catch most of the stuff that you need, or most of the errors that will be on those claims, rather. Um, the diagnosis codes right now, we are noticing an issue on the later version of revenue management that is airing out proper codes that are indeed valid. So if you just want to go ahead and turn those codes off, we'll save this, close out, and then check that again. This is not quite a fair assumption or a fair assessment because he's still missing his policy too. Which like I said, that's still going to catch the, the actual invalid claims. But we do notice that that diagnosis code check is gone now. So that's how you get around that.